Simplify the expression 6x to the fourth plus 8x squared minus 4x to the negative 2 power all over 2x to the negative 2 power. Now, as is the case with many math problems, there is more than one way to approach this. The way that I'm going to do it is to rewrite this fraction as 6x to the fourth power over 2x to the negative 2 plus 8x to the second over 2x to the negative 2 minus 4x to the negative second over 2x to the negative 2. Anytime you have a fraction with only one term in the denominator, you can rewrite that fraction with each term in the numerator over that denominator. So in this problem, there were three terms in the numerator, and I wrote each of those three terms, the 6x to the fourth, the 8x to the second, and the negative 4x to the negative 2, unchanged as numerators all over the problem's original denominator, 2x to the negative 2. And the reason I chose to do that in, that in this problem is because then I can take each of the three terms and reduce them individually. For example, the first term involves 6x to the fourth over 2x to the negative second power. Well, 6 over 2 in lowest terms is 3 over 1, or just 3. And then the x to the negative 2 power that's in the denominator, because it has a negative exponent, it will move to the numerator where it will be multiplied by the x to the second power, or the x to the fourth power that was already there. So this becomes 3x to the fourth times x to the second, which in the next step I will multiply the x's together. The second term, 8x to the second over 2x to the negative 2 power, can be reduced as well. 8 over 2 is 4 over 1, or just 4, and again, I'll take the x to the negative second power and move it to the numerator. There's already an x to the second power included in the numerator. And so whenever I move the x to the negative 2 from the denominator to the top, I'll be multiplying by another factor of x to the second power. The third term includes 4 in the numerator and 2 in the denominator. That reduces to 2. And then something special happens with the x's. In the numerator, there's x to the negative second power, and in the denominator, there's x to the negative second power. And without even thinking about the exponents as being negative and moving the negative exponents to the other side of a fraction bar, realize that these two factors are identical. And anytime you have exactly the same factor in the numerator and denominator of a fraction, they can be eliminated because x to the negative 2 divided by x to the negative 2 is 1, regardless of the value of x the last term becomes just 2. The final thing I'll do to finish this problem is multiply in the first term x to the fourth times x to the second, and in the second term x to the second times x to the second. In the first term, x to the fourth times x to the second, when I multiply the same base, I add the exponents, and the same thing happens in the second term. It's the same base, so I will add the exponents. 2 plus 2 is 4. The final answer is 3x to the 6th power plus 4x to the 4th minus 2.